Oh, I lost five, because then I gained one of that puzzle, didn't I? At least that's not too bad. Hmm. Already we're... There uh, we're... Oh, ten. Wow. Yeah, this this level is probably going to be kind of difficult, I'm assuming, considering it's already given me ten crystals. Although, that one didn't add to it. Maybe I was maybe I was mistaken last time. Maybe you can't. Now what I could try and do is try and do that glitch all the way over there, but I think it's I think that might be a bit too far for even that to work. So let's just let's just do this the intended way, shall we? Considering we're getting onto, well, actually the uh, finished footage would be a lot shorter, but we're already at 27 minutes roughly, 28. Wait, what? Shouldn't that have gone a bit further? Okay. Oh, we're going in the water. Yay! I love underwater levels. It's my favourite music. It really is. It's so eerie. I love it. Kaboof. Right, how am I supposed to get these? Can I... Oh, I can actually... I can spin dash these. Or spin, spin attack. I, I don't really know what to call it. I assume there's going to be a key or something in here? No. Alright, is there something I'm missing? Aha, here we are. Here's the key. And this will probably push me back up somewhere. I'm not sure where. Mm. Oh, it's, is it another one of those box chasing ones? It is. I find these really easy. That was really easy. You just run at them, and then they bounce off the far wall and come back at you. So if you jump, the, if you time the jump right, then you're golden. Right then. Cool. We haven't found the silver key yet. I assume we're going to. Because that'd be good. I kind of want to get that pow pow. Ah, there it is. I saw it up there. Hmm. Are we up? Right then. How are we meant to get up there? Probably that button. There's another key? There weren't two doors. I wonder what that's going to open then. Aha, there we go. Right, let's get let's get the little key first. Although we do have to make our way back at some point. Hmm. Oh well. So yeah, what's this key for? Oh well, let's just go back. Oh, oh, and very nearly fall off. That wouldn't be very good. Hang on, is this 2-4? No, it can't be. No. No, this is just 2-3, isn't it? It's 2-3, and then it's the boss, and then it's the secret level. Ain't it, though? Right, so we need to go back over here and kill this strange dog that's a, that I don't even know where that's coming from. And we need to push this button. I have no idea what that'll do. Ah, oh, right, so it creates a, a new platform for us to land on. And I assume there's a golden door. Or purple door with a golden lock. I knew what I meant. Which there is. Cool. Hmm. What's keeping those suspended? Just water? I mean, when it was lava, I could understand. It would be a spout of lava, but this is just water. 
And I have five, good. Come on, come on. Ooh, just made that one. Right, please don't be another crystal collection cauldron one. That was awful. Oh. Okay, this one isn't this one doesn't look too bad. Camera. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, come on. Let's get back up there before those enemies respawn. That won't be very good. Oh, there's one. Alright, and the last thing we want is for them to throw stuff at me. Oh, do not fall off. Good! There we go. Anything behind? Nah. And we should get a life. We do. Brilliant! That turned out quite well, I liked that. Chumley, the next boss. Why is the bad guy bored? So, who's this, who's this then? How is this guy going to be a boss? I, I, it's just a guy with a rocket on his back. I'm confused. And suddenly we've got the penguins from Crash Bandicoot. That's great. Hmm. I don't actually want to see if I can hit them just in case they can't actually be killed. It's it's unlikely that they can't be killed, but it is possible at the same time, so I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to avoid them. Hmm. Pretty good. And we've got plenty of lives to get through it. Hopefully. I mean, I don't know how difficult this boss is. I don't, I don't even know how to kill it. So, it could turn out horribly, horribly wrong. Ugh, there we go. What do these Dantinis do? I mean... Well, I say what do they do. I mean, where did they come from? Because these enemies that he's creating for the bosses are just average animals that he's transforming. Whereas Dantinis are just things to their own. They don't seem to be from anything. Okay, so we've got um what how is this dangerous? Um is this just an, uh, the same thing again? You just wait for him to... Okay. And what? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Did that work? He just went... <gasps> I've noticed that makes him come back down quicker, so... Yeah, I think that is actually hurting him. So for him to go back up. And flip. Yeah, okay. Sure. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. And I said, take your fire hydrant off. And let it disappear. I'm confused. I'm, I don't understand, but I'll I'll allow it because it's a children's game. Hmm. Clouds of ice. Let's see what's entailed. Probably clouds made of ice. Quite possibly. I mean, I don't really understand what's going on. 
it all just seems to happen. I mean, we're, we're, we're on ice, but we're also in the clouds, so we're on floating ice, I guess, but I don't know. I really, I really just don't know. Kaboof. Those poor dogs. They look a bit like Preston, actually. If um, if anybody has ever watched Wallace and Gromit, oh my god, a grand, uh, not a grand day out, sorry, um, a close shave, then you'll get that reference. But there's a dog in Wallace and Gromit, a close shave, called Preston, and he's got the same kind of collar and the same kind of body. Uh, shape, that's it, that's the word I'm looking for. But uh, he's not red, he's he's brown. And he's a robot. Yeah. But, I mean, who hasn't watched that? I mean, that's, that's something you grow up watching. Oh, oh. Really? Okay. Cool. I think that was a... Um, wasn't that like a demon Dantini or something? I mean, what was that doing here? This is like Ice World. He's in the wrong place. Maybe he's lost. He could be lost. Oh, I don't like these platforms. It's hard to judge with this camera. Because it keeps panning upwards whenever you do a jump and it's really annoying. And I have no idea what he just did to hurt me. Fine then. Also, I like the noise of the platforms that come back. If you wait for it, for the noise, that kind of like... I don't know what it is, it sounds like a small animal chewing on something. Like a, like a rabbit. Not a rabbit, like a squirrel, sorry. But uh, I, don't, I don't understand, it doesn't really make much sense, but... Now there's a lot of things in this in this game. Right. Is this a life or more crystals or that's a life. Good to hear. And we're almost at the jigsaw puzzle piece, even. And there we go. Cool. Wonder how many there are in the game. Because I don't, I don't know how many you need to unlock the, that level that it unlocks. I think it's the Crystal Island. But I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I'm just kind of going through collecting everything. Because it's what I do. I'm a, I'm a completionist when it comes down to video games. I really am. And this is the next one with the bonus world in it as well. I'm going to try and remember. I almost forgot this time. I have to... When I set it all up, I had to quickly go onto the site and write down how to get to the first, uh, get to the one I got in two two. But anyway, I remembered it before I actually started, which is good. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and I really hope that the audio quality comes out okay because I'm still figuring out how to get this microphone to work properly. It seems to be okay. Perhaps I should have set up another microphone to record as well, just in case it didn't work, but it's too late now. But anyway, um, hope you've enjoyed it, and see you again next time.